Mm. There we go. Get burned. Okay. Ah. Mm. No, we'll, we'll, we'll do Instagram later. What's up, everybody? Mm. It's pretty good. I got my K Woody. This is a four digit K Woody. Look at that. You can see it there. Ah. This thing dates back to the 30s at least. The 1930s. <laughs> and in it, for the very first time, I'm smoking Prince Albert. Never had it before. Let's have a look at it. You know? In the luxury pouch. That's what it says. Luxury pouch. Feel the freshness. So, nice little ribbon cut. Moisture's good in the pouch. It packs well. It lights well. It's got a nice little flavor to it. It's very light. I get just a huddle, subtle bit of sweetness. Some nuttiness, maybe? I mean, honestly, it might be... <laughs> I might just be tasting the ghost in the pipe. <laughs> but it's it's just a nice little tobacco. It's nice. I like it. But Derek, that's a codger tobacco. And that's a codger pipe. That's a drugstore pipe and a drugstore codger tobacco. What are you doing? Are you codgering? Are you codger? I've heard the word codger more in like the last month I've heard that word more times than I have the rest of my life combined literally literally and of course that's thanks and in, in the thanks goes to Mr. Benjamin Mitchell the artful codger himself uh who is enjoying a meteoric rise to fame here in the YouTube pipe community. Uh, his content is wonderful, and uh, he has an affinity for the over-the-counter, codger, uh, inexpensive blends. He likes his uh, Mixture 79 and Velvet, etc. Uh, and on his channel, of course, he did his... He did the Kind of like a little mini documentary on the history of Velvet. Very well done. Uh, and of course, everybody who saw it sung his praises, spread the word. Even Matches, I think, uh, you know, gave him a little shout out. And when Matches gives you a shout out, ho ho, you're going places. Anyway. So. You know, Benjamin Mitchell, then you got the diabetic man who who recently issued out his pipe smoker for life challenge, the PS4L. So, is it a coincidence that I'm smoking this and it's this PS4L? Well, no, it's not a coincidence because uh, that pipe smoker for life challenge, a lot of people have been picking up over-the-counter blends and... Uh, you know, got me thinking about, you know, why I don't need to be such a tobacco snob. I can enjoy some over-the-counter blends, too. Uh, but I've chosen not to participate in the challenge at this time. Uh, but I probably will do something like that when I get back to Nashville. I mean, I already did something like that this year already. I did smoked 10 Quiet Nights all the way through. But I didn't do it in one pipe. I used many pipes. 
but I get it. I get it. We're trying. It's a kind of. It's like a recreation, like a reliving what our forefathers, how they smoked a pipe. They had their pipe and they had their blend, and that's what they smoked. Uh, but if you are in on this, uh, you should get in on the Voxer chat. I mean, you got Benjamin Mitchell there. You got Tom, and you got Jeremy Larson, and Brian, Metalhead Cigar Guy, and then there's Dominic, Pie and Coffee. That's that's who that is. You got Badger Piper, and Sage with Half and Half. And there's a few more people. I'm probably... Oh, Gentleman Jim, he's in there. A lot of good... Uh, Oh, I'll let this go out. A lot of good chats going on in the Pipe Smoker for Life Voxer chat, which I'm participating in the chat, but I'm not participating in the challenge right now because I'm going to Nashville next week. And when you're going to Nashville, when you're going to these big pipe meetups, you're going to be surrounded. We're going to be going to different pipe shops. And people are going to be bringing tobacco. I'm going to be bringing tobacco. They're going to be bringing... We're all going to be bringing tobacco. And we're going to be smoking pipes. We're going to be smoking different tobaccos. And I can't be like, sorry guys, I can't do it. I'm working... I got to work my way through this, this Prince Albert. No. You don't do... That's rude. Tom. Scheduling a pipe smoker for life challenge. On the eve of Nashville... How dare you? Like he's even watching this. Anyway. Check out the, uh, yeah, check out uh, Benjamin Mitchell. Check out Tom the Diabetic Man. And check out everybody who's uh, getting in on the, the Pipe Smoker for Life. Hashtag PS4L. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, what else? I've been watching... Bicycle Vagabond, he's taken, he, he's from Montana, but he's taken his bike and he's like biking all through Indonesia, Sumatra, Bali. You should check out his channel. He's, that's like awesome to watch. And I've been watching Max, Defiant Pipes, you know, he's up to his shenanigans and, and Amy Mack, you know, she's, she's going through some, going through a little rough patch family things, so... You know, get out there. Get out there in your YouTube pipe community and start discovering people and uh, watching videos. That's cool. It's cool to see people around. Whether we're struggling or whether we're having good times, bad times, you know, it's good to lean on each other and uh, you know, support each other and, and all that. Uh, starting to run out of steam here. <laughs> I did work all night. I got a couple days off. Uh, I'm gonna go see my kid play football on Thursday. That's tomorrow, and uh, work a couple days this upcoming weekend, and then head for Nashville next week with my wife. I'm gonna visit my brothers and I'm gonna visit all those who are going to the Nashville pipe meetup. It's going to be it's going to be pretty good. It's going to be pretty awesome. So, if you were considering going, you know, you probably should. Briarworks is opening up their shop. Going to give a tour, going to feed people. There's going to be meetups at all the different pipe shops and, and cigar shops in Nashville. Going to be a caffeine, uh, you know, coffee shop hop, coffee shop crawl. Man, you can't, can't beat that. And the quality of people that are going to be there is just awesome. Can't wait to hang out with Eddie Gray and Berg and Joe Davis. And I think Saddle Tramp's going to be there. And like Grandpa Bones and all the St. Louis people. And of course, Greg and Frank and Boontar. And I'm just shouting out people now. Why don't I just end this video? Because it seems to be uh, just me uh, talking. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch more YouTube videos, and I'm actually gonna finish uh, the Prince Albert in this pipe. This is a good blend, and you should get some. I uh, also got some Carter Hall, and I just ordered some Mixture Seventy Nine and Velvet. Benjamin, you would be proud. 
Thank you all for watching. Smell my beer. And don't go Googling Prince Albert. You might not like what you find.